Ever wondered why you're still banking traditionally when numerous alternatives exist? Let's unpack that thought for a moment. Traditional banking, a system that's been around for centuries, may seem like the tried and true method. But have you ever stopped to consider its drawbacks? Take hidden fees, for example. You think you have a certain amount in your account, only to find a chunk missing due to some obscure service charge. Or how about the notoriously low interest rates? Your hard-earned money is sitting there gathering dust instead of interest. And let's not forget the inconvenient hours. Need to make an urgent transaction after five? Too bad. Your bank's doors are closed and your needs will just have to wait. But what if there was a different way? What if your money could work harder, smarter, and more conveniently for you? Let's explore some alternatives that might better suit your financial needs. Scene script. First on our list is online banking, a digital revolution in the world of finance. Online banks, unlike traditional ones, operate without the need for physical branches. This innovative approach allows them to cut costs significantly. Without the expenses of maintaining brick-and-mortar locations, they can pass on those savings to you, the customer. This often results in lower fees, goodbye, dreaded monthly maintenance or minimum balance fees. But the benefits don't stop there. Higher interest rates on savings accounts are another enticing feature of online banks. This is a direct result of their reduced operational costs, which allows them to offer rates often several times higher than their traditional counterparts. So your money doesn't just sit there, it grows. Additionally, online banks excel in providing round-the-clock service. Whether it's the middle of the night or a public holiday, you can perform banking tasks right from your smartphone or computer, need to check your balance, transfer funds, or even deposit a check. With online banking, it's possible anytime, anywhere. But let's balance the scales here. While online banking offers some undeniable advantages, it does come with its set of challenges. One of the most significant drawbacks is the lack of personal interaction. When you encounter a complex issue, sometimes a face-to-face -face conversation with a banking professional can be invaluable. With online banks, your primary mode of communication is through emails or phone calls, which may not always provide the level of detail or personal touch you need. Another potential downside is technical issues. As with any digital platform, online banks can experience glitches, slowdowns, or even outages. While these are usually temporary, they can cause inconvenience when you need to access your account or conduct an urgent transaction. Online banks provide a convenient and cost-effective alternative but they might not be for everyone. So, it's essential to weigh the pros and cons. Consider your banking needs and habits before making a switch. After all, the best place for your money is where it works hardest for you. Another alternative to consider is a credit union. These financial institutions operate quite differently from your traditional banks. You see, credit unions are not-for-profit organizations. This means they're not driven by the need to generate profits for shareholders. Instead, their primary goal is to serve their members. These members, in fact, are part owners of the credit union. Because they're not-for-profit, credit unions often offer lower fees and better interest rates than traditional banks. For instance, you might find that your local credit union offers a significantly higher interest rate on savings accounts than your current bank, or perhaps they offer a credit card with lower fees and a more reasonable interest rate. This focus on member benefit rather than profit, can lead to some very attractive financial products. One of the key advantages of a credit union is the sense of community. When you join a credit union, you're not just another customer, you're a member. This often translates into better customer service as the credit union has a vested interest in your financial well-being. Plus, many people find that being a part of a community-oriented financial institution aligns better with their values. That being said, credit unions are not without their drawbacks. One of the potential downsides is limited accessibility. While many credit unions are part of a larger network, they may not have as many physical branches or ATMs as larger banks. Additionally, credit unions may not be as technologically advanced as some of their banking counterparts. If you're someone who relies heavily on mobile banking or other digital services, you might find that your local credit union's technology leaves a bit to be desired. In the end, it's all about weighing the pros and cons and deciding what's most important to you. Credit unions can offer a more personalized banking experience, but they may lack some of the conveniences of larger institutions. 
So when it comes to choosing where to put your money, it's essential to consider all your options. Next up, let's talk about peer-to-peer -peer lending and crowdfunding platforms. These innovative platforms are revolutionizing the way we think about lending and investing. Rather than going through traditional financial institutions, peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms connect borrowers directly with investors. This eliminates the middleman, often resulting in better rates for both parties. Imagine you're an investor. You have some money to invest and you want to make it work for you. With peer-to-peer -peer lending, you can lend your money directly to individuals or small businesses in need of capital. As they repay the loan with interest, you earn a return on your investment. It's a win-win situation. Now, let's say you're on the other side of the equation. You're an entrepreneur with a great idea for a business, but you lack the capital to get it off the ground. Crowdfunding platforms provide a solution. You can pitch your idea to a multitude of potential investors, and if they see merit in your concept, they can contribute funds to help you reach your goal. However, as enticing as these platforms may seem, they come with their own set of risks. One of the biggest risks for investors is default. This happens when the borrower fails to repay the loan. Unlike traditional banks, peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms don't have insurance to cover these losses. Similarly, crowdfunding platforms have their pitfalls. Projects can fail, and the funds contributed by investors can be lost. It's also worth noting that crowdfunding is often an all-or-nothing proposition. If the project doesn't reach its funding goal, the money is returned to the investors and the entrepreneur is back to square one. In conclusion, peer-to-peer -peer lending and crowdfunding platforms can be a game-changer for entrepreneurs and investors alike. They offer a unique opportunity for individuals to invest in or fund projects that's, that they believe in. But like all investment opportunities, they come with their own set of risks. As always, it's important to do your homework and understand the potential downsides before diving in. These platforms can be a game-changer for entrepreneurs and investors, but they come with their own set of risks. Finally, let's talk about using investment accounts as an alternative to traditional banking. These accounts, often managed by brokerage firms or financial advisors, can be a powerful tool in growing your wealth. They come in different flavors, from stocks and bonds to mutual funds, each with its own potential for high returns. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. With high returns comes high risk. The stock market has its ups and downs, and your investment value can fluctuate accordingly. These accounts may not be the best choice for short-term savings or emergency funds, as you could potentially lose money if you need to withdraw at an inopportune time. Additionally, there are tax advantages to consider. Some accounts, like Roth IRAs or 401ks, allow your investments to grow tax-free, which can significantly boost your long-term earnings. Investment accounts may offer high rewards, but it's important to consider your financial goals and risk tolerance. As we've seen, traditional banking is not the only option. We've journeyed through the world of online banks offering convenience and competitive interest rates. We've explored the community-driven approach of credit unions with their customer-centric services and potential for higher returns. We've delved into the innovative realm of peer-to-peer -peer lending and crowdfunding, opening up new avenues for investment and financial growth. Lastly, we have touched upon the potential of investment accounts, a route that can lead to substantial wealth accumulation over time. Each of these options presents its own unique features, benefits, and potential challenges. Therefore, it's crucial to do your own research and consider your individual financial goals before making a decision. Remember, the best place for your money is where it works the hardest for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I will respond as soon as possible.